All right, so starting off first is a 1967 Washington Quarter that has triple curved clips. So you can look for these on all kinds of different coins. You know, sometimes it's just one clip on the whole coin. It can be a lot larger than these, but this is a triple curved clip. So you got three of them there, which is pretty obvious. But this coin here did sell for around $40. It's graded by NGC at an AU55, so it's not a mint state grade or anything. The coin grading scale goes up to 70. This is at a 55. $40 for that coin. So here's an example of kind of what I was talking about. Here is a 1967 curved clip. And it does have a partial collar as well, which we can see around the rim of the coin. But this is a large clip here on this coin. It's taken up like, uh, I don't know, what, 25% of the coin? Pretty large clip there. Like I say, some could be much smaller than this. Something like this is pretty major. This quarter sold for over $130. Here is a 1967. Now this coin got a very, very high grade. It's graded at a 67. The coin grading scale goes up to 70, right? Uh, it's graded by PCGS, by the way, and you see that it says SMS, that means Special Mint Set Coin. And it also has a DDO, which means Double Die Obverse. So that means there's doubling on the front of the coin. It's a Special Mint Set Coin, which I've done a whole video about. But here's an example of doubling on these quarters from 1967. So you'll see that they're really very visible there on the lettering of the coin. So we'll see that there on the L, the I, the B of the word Liberty. And then we'll also see that there on the E, the R, the T. Very, very noticeable doubling there. And then you can also look for that there on Washington himself, as well as the other lettering of the coin, the motto in God we trust, and even the date 1967 itself. So, you know, you guys can do that with your USB coin microscopes. I do have those available on couchcollectibles.com. Feel free to pick one up if that's for you. Now, this coin here did sell for over $275. $275. Of course, we're not finding nothing like that in pocket change. But I have to add it in here since it's the 1967. Now, here is a major type of error. The coin has been broad struck and it's got double curved clips. So we got two clips here with the broad strike taking place. This quarter sold for over $100. Now here is a 1967 quarter that sold for over $8,000, graded by PCGS uh, at a mint state 68. That is where all the value comes in at. The coin is graded at a mint state 68. It's got some amazing toning to it as well. Now the mint state 68 grade is where, like I said, all the value comes in at. So Keep that in mind, there's probably not many of them out there that exist at this grade or higher. That's why it sold for over $8,000. Here's a 1967 that is missing the obverse clad layer. So here on the reverse, you'll see that it's got the clad layer. Here on the obverse, you'll see the inner copper layer of the quarter because it's missing the outer clad layer. Now this coin is graded by NGC at MN State 64 and this quarter sold for around $80. Now, if you've never seen a quarter struck on a dime, well, this is what it looks like. 1967 Washington quarter design struck onto a 10 cent planchet. It's graded at a men's state 65, and this coin sold for over $330. Now, this is a similar type of error. However, this is a 1967 Washington quarter that was struck on a 5 cent planchet. So a quarter on a nickel, the last coin was a quarter on a dime. In this case, this coin sold for over $300. And we also can't leave out the quarter struck on a penny. So this was struck on a one cent planchet, 1967 quarter design. This coin here sold for over $700. Now we looked at an SMS earlier. Here's another SMS 1967 quarter. It's not a double die. It doesn't have any types of errors but it does have that very high grade. It's at a 69 out of 70 on the coin grading scale. And that's why the quarter sold for over $4,700, nearly a $5,000 coin. Now this next coin is one of my favorite coins of this video, the 1967 Washington quarter that sold for around $480, and here's why. Here on the reverse of the coin is where we will see that mint error taking place and that is a strike through. So the coin has been struck through and actually it's not even spelled correctly on the coin slab, it's misspelled. 
So we got an error coin holder. That's pretty cool. Uh, graded at immense state 64. And this coin, like I said, sold for around $480. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear. Thank <laughs> you.